So let's start. A very warm welcome to everybody here to this very lovely session that has been carved out of the ABS Summit. That is the ISABS Honors uh, Ceremony, ISABS Award Ceremony. Um, ISABS Award Ceremony or ISABS Awards are actually uh, going to uh, individuals and organizations who have put in a lifetime of uh, contribution, impactful contribution, both organizations or individuals to, uh, to the body of uh, behavioral sciences. Uh, to start with the ceremony, I would request uh, the president of ISABS, Joy Srinivasan, to be spotlighted and uh, Professor Abad Ahmad to be spotlighted. Uh, I think all of us know Joy very well, so I'm not going into a very detailed introduction of Joy. Uh, also, uh, uh, Professor Abad is no stranger. However, I would just give a sh short introduction of Professor Abad Ahmad. In fact, it all began with uh, Abad, I must say. Uh, somewhere in the early 60s, uh, Abad Ahmad attended uh, an NTL session, NTL lab, and his dream was formed at that time that why don't we have such an applied behavioral science body in India? along with like-minded people like Dr. Uday Parikh and Dr. Sapna Chattopadhyay, this dream came alive. And here we have ISABS completing 50 years uh, now. Dr. Abad Ahmad uh, has been a lifelong practitioner and a lifelong teacher. He headed many OD interventions, uh, the most well-known amongst it being uh, the six-year-long company-wide OD intervention at BHEL Bhopal, which he did along with Sopna Chattopadhyay. Uh, he has taught uh, at many universities, reputed universities. Uh, he, has, he, he is the pro-vice chancellor. He has served as a pro-vice chancellor of Delhi University. He has also been the executive director of MDI Gurgaon. So without uh, much ado, I uh, request Joy and Abad to take over. Joy to you. Yeah, thank you, Priya. Uh, uh, it's nice to be uh, here uh, talking about uh, an initiative uh, ISAPS has taken uh, on on the occasion of its uh, Golden Jubilee year. Um, I wish to recall how this this whole thing uh, got uh, initiated. Um, you know, I got a call from Sushma one day, and she says with a lot of enthusiasm as usual that she gets excited about so many ideas that keeps coming into her head all the time. I think she thinks ISAPS more than she thinks of anything else in the world. <laughs> and uh, so she says, how about giving uh, awards to uh, people, uh, you know, as part of the ABS? Uh, I just, okay, I said, well, hold on, hold on. Uh, uh, certainly, yes, we should do, and I'll come back to you. And then, you know, I went back to the Golden Jubilee committee and we were talking because we were thinking in similar lines and then I took a day uh, not to come back to her and she nudges me over the WhatsApp saying that I'm still waiting, what happened, you know? Uh, then I told Sushma, no, no, we are going to take this forward, don't worry. Um, so there was the story how uh, we all got, uh, we, we did feel it's important that we should uh, recognize people uh, because in ISAPs, I don't know, uh, except we have perhaps have recognized people within the system, within the institution on different occasions, but recognizing people outside ISAPs, I don't know if we have done earlier, but we thought this is a great moment for us to do it. Now, there, there was a committee which got constituted to look at this whole initiative, uh, especially. Now, a lot of deliberation happened in this committee uh, because the word award didn't sit well with us because we felt, uh, you know, it's too, too much a niche word. It's used all over. It has lost its relevance. Uh, so should we call it, you know, award or should we call it a recognition? What is it? Um, then we said, yeah, let's drop the word award. But we more came with, uh, how, how about saying, ISAPS honors people because it's not it's not so much about ISAPS it's about the people who are actually honoring uh, when we honor them uh, because the kind of work they have done the kind of leadership they have shown the kind of um, you know behavioral practice they have brought into their institutions 
Um, and then the whole committee uh, also looked at how this should not be a, a one-time initiative. It should continue as a practice, as a culture within ISAFs. And how do we take it forward uh, from now on? Therefore, we came up with a, with a policy uh, which uh, got defined. How do we really work on this so that the future committees can work? etc and be shared with the entire professional uh, body um, and then we invited uh, we popularized this whole um, initiative through social media through members to really ask people to recommend nominate people in these two categories one uh, looking at how individuals perhaps could have uh, you know uh, brought in their own uh, thought leadership in applying the behavioral science principles um, also looking at organizations who could have brought in institutional practices in their leadership while building their organization by applying applied behavioral uh, science uh, principles. Um, you know, I'm telling you, it was, it was actually quite overwhelming the kind of nominations we received. And every nomination had so much of depth and so much of uh, excellent work people are doing. And it was not an easy task for the committee to really zero down on who, you know, shortlisting the whole thing. But yeah, we were holding our heart. Uh, we said, okay, let's let's keep our heart tight and then hold on to the criteria that we have uh, that we have defined, so that you know we are more diligent in arriving at the shortlisting uh, names. Uh, it was not easy, but uh, uh, you know, we we finally had to decide on. Um, four individuals who will be getting uh, thought-based uh, leadership who have applied, uh, you know, ABS in their principles in their work. Uh, also, we chose two institutions uh, to be uh, to be honored this evening. Um, I also want to say that uh, it is not the. There are so many organizations we couldn't really bring them to the final. But, you know, we also hold each organization's, each individual's name, which got, who were nominated with great awe and inspiration because the kind of work they have done. But it's unfortunate we couldn't consider them for certain criteria they didn't meet. Um, I also wish to, uh, you know, uh, thank uh, the entire honors, uh, ISAF's honors committee who worked very hard and diligent to make this happen. I like to... Uh, express my thanks to Shankar, um, Suki, Sinsi, uh, Vikram, uh, and Kirod, who who anchored the whole thing and who ensured that these things was put in place. Um, yeah, I am excited to be here along with the one of the founders of uh, ISAPS, Abad. I am really honored to be here in the presence of beside you uh, to be honoring this, and I. Uh, you know, request you to do the honors of uh, giving this awards to. Uh, Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. And we call upon uh, the spotlight goes to Shirish Joshi. Can the event body sh spotlight Shirish Joshi? I I need to share my screen. Okay. May I now read the citation for that? Yes, yes Abhan. Well, I would say that it's a great idea of ISAB to initiate the awards uh, for outstanding work. And uh, it is indeed a great honor for me and a privilege to present these honors awards to the distinguished awardee persons and institutions. Their illustrious and extraordinary work will inspire ABS practitioners and social workers across the globe. I would like to begin by reading the award citation for Shri Shirish Joshi. ISABS celebrates and honors Shirish Joshi for his outstanding contribution to the world of applied behavioral science. Shirish's work towards developing systems and structures that empower historically marginalized communities and disadvantaged geographies in diverse fields is inspirational. Utilizing organizational development tools, processes, and approaches, Shirish has facilitated organizations to have an empowered voice and presence in their field of work. His work 
is a testament to ABS being vital to much needed change, inclusion, and nation building. I present on behalf of the ISAPs the honors award plaque to Shri Shrish Joshi. I need to project the screen. Krishna, can you help me with that? Sir, uh, you're one of the co hosts. You can present the screen. No, I'm not being allowed to. Please do something. Just try now, sir. Try. Yeah, now, now, yeah, now I am. So. So. Wow. Uh, very nice. Congratulations, Shirish. Yeah, thank you very much. Would you like to say a few words, maybe a minute? Yeah, yeah, sure, 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 sure. So thank you, ISAPS committee. It's really an honor to get this uh, uh, award, so to say, and uh, particularly because it is outside the ISAP professional community. It's a peer award, so it matters a lot. And uh, it's a coincidence that Dr. Abad Ahmed came to, uh, I mean, he was a visiting faculty in an induction program where I was a student at that point of time in MDI Gurga, the course director was Dr. Poonam Saigal. Some of you, of course, know her. And uh, I mean, this is an intrinsically joyful work. And on top of it, if you get award, it's like a big bonus. I would strongly appeal to all my colleagues in behavioral sciences that this sector needs your expertise. Of course, they can't pay for it. But I would strongly recommend that you devote as much time as you can for this sector. And thank you once again. Thank you so much, Shirish. Thank you for that. And now can we spotlight Ashira uh, Darvish? Is she here? I didn't see her name. Okay, Ashira. Yeah. Okay. Hi, can you see me? Oh, she is here. Can we uh, please sp spotlight Ashira Darvish? She's here as Prem Rachana. Okay, okay. All right. Now I present the Honours Award citation for Ms. Ashira Prem Rachana. ISEPS celebrates and honors Ashira Darvish for her outstanding contribution to the world using applied behavioral science. Ashira's commitment and contribution towards trauma release work in Palestine has brought empowerment and resilience for children and adults living in war and conflict zones. Ashira is a living embodiment of self as a channel of transformation. Her own journey of healing has served as a springboard to help others heal. She continues to inspire by her innovative and creative use of Sufi, yogic, and trauma release practices and bringing together communities of practitioners to facilitate change. On behalf of the ISAP, I present the Honours Award plaque to Ms. Ashira Prem Rachini. Congratulations, Ashira. Would you like to say a few words, couple of minutes on how you feel at the moment? Yes, uh, I'd like to say thank you very much for the honors and uh, for recognizing the work. Um, I would like to say thank you to my family for supporting me in being able to do this work. And I'd also like to dedicate it to the Palestinian children um, who are currently in prison. Uh, may they hopefully one day be able to live in freedom and peace. And I hope that this work will also inspire others to start working on trauma healing for children. Um, they are the future and they are the hope and they need everything that we can give them in order for them to be able to live peacefully and to live safely and trauma-free. So thank you very much. Thank you, Ashira. More power to you and our healing prayers and hugs to, to the children. <laughs> uh, now uh, we have on spotlight representatives from Ugantar. Uh, can we spotlight Ugantar team? Alaji Utla, who will receive the honor. 
can we spotlight balaji so this csc department so balaji is on cse oh okay <laughs> all right the next honors award is i said celebrates and honors yugantar for their outstanding contribution to the world of applied behavioral science and nation building yugantar's do rahe has boldly demonstrated effective use of cbt that is cognitive behavioral therapy and other abs approaches towards mindset transformation of youth faced with the risk of criminal criminalization they provide a safe facility and environment where the entire ecosystem including the police the youth and change makers can come together with the youth at the center of the change uganda continues to inspire by transforming the lives of youth through an innovative approach that benefits both the individuals and the community on behalf of the icebs i present the honors award plaque to uganda congratulations dr balaji and the uh, yugantar team would you like to say a few words mike yeah um can you hear me yeah i'm in the midst of a workshop um thank you very much icebs uh, i think it's kind of a uh, an honor uh, uh, for not just uh, yugantar but uh, all those youth at risk with whom we worked and i would like to thank uh, my co facilitators who did tremendous amount of work where uh, we worked on ourselves to begin with so that we can be sensitive to the needs of these uh, participants and uh, we also would like to thank the police department for having experimented with the cbt methodology and i'm happy to see that almost uh, four to five people have already gone out of uh, rowdy sheets and uh, history sheets Uh, it's a, it's a great uh, pleasure and like someone said earlier i do hope that this creates the benchmark and an opportunity for other people to expand and scale it and i do hope that yugantar as well works with uh, more number of uh, uh, youth at risk thank you very much i'm really honored thank you dr balaji and that's healing at a very very different level uh, thank you so much for your work um i would request uh, the spotlight to be also on joy uh, now because she would be reading uh, the remaining citations and uh, spotlight to be on divyanshu divyanshu kanatra is divyanshu here yes thank you uh, abad sir um, i'm really um, feeling very very uh, uh, grateful and honored to introduce divyanshu uh, you know when we were going through the kind of work uh, divyanshu had done uh, it was truly inspiring for the committee and uh, there was like no doubt in our minds that how you should not be honored um, so i said really and honors divyanshu ganantara for his uh, outstanding contribution to the world of applied behavioral science uh divyanshu uh, through your you know personal example uh, of challenges biases driven by uh, ableism uh, your work has really transformed and created inclusive and integrated space for people with physical challenges who have been otherwise historically excluded your application of abs uh, applied behavioral science disci uh, disciplines has really enabled the transformation of narratives and business models in sports retail manufacturing and many among others divanshu we are really excited about your spirit of adventure and imagination of possibilities and your ability to really bring about a transformative work uh, at the gra grassroots level uh, and demonstrate to the world that you know expanse of your impact and influence to this nation building is so so true and uh, it has really given us a lot of hope in this world that uh, you know things are possible and things are uh, we can we can do nation building 
we are really ISAPS really feels very very honored um, to uh, present Divanshu uh, the award for your individual contribution uh, to this world and to your thought leadership. Congratulations. Congratulations, Vivanshu. Would you like to unmute and say a few words? Okay, can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. Great. All right. So thank you so much. It's such an honor to to be recognized and honored by ISAPS because my journey really started from ISAPS in the year 2006. And um, some of my greatest teachers have been from ISAPS. So it's, a, it, it's really a special moment for me today um, to be receiving this award, to be recognized for some of the work and small contribution that I've been uh, making in this world to um, learn the importance of inclusion um, starting from the lab way back in 2006 and then applying it to making this world more inclusive uh, for people with disability. And when I say that, for in my head, there are only two kinds of people with disability. People who have a disability and people who haven't found out about their disability yet. <laughs> so, <laughs> so this is a world we're building for all, for mm -hmm. all, and, and a world which is more inclusive and where nobody's left behind. So thank you for recognizing this work in, um, and for this evening. Thank you, Divan. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so now we invite uh, Gagan, the spotlight to be on Gagan. Gagan Seth. Hello, Gagan. It's great to see you here. Um, when, uh, we were going through your profile and your nomination. We said, are we even, you know, can we rec can we honor Gagan who's already honored worldwide? So we were like really uh, shaken inside uh, to, to, uh, to, to learn more about uh, uh, your work and the kind of uh, excellent uh, leadership that you have shown to the world and to the great impact you have brought into the country. Um, uh, so ISATS really celebrates and honors uh, Gagan uh, for your outstanding contribution that you are really offered to the world, uh, especially in the arena of uh, applied behavioral science. And truly you have done a nation building. Uh, and many, uh, many social organizations are really you know, looking up to you as a guru who is, who is really descended to help them to uh, build organizations. Um, and, you know, your, your Gagan's work uh, encompasses a broad spectrum ranging from grassroots activism to institution building and policy level initiatives. And Gagan is also a facilit facilitative leader and a purpose driven change maker. And he has dwelled deeply into good governance, both within normal and crisis times. Uh, perpetra perpetrator, he has, uh, he has influenced different development organizations especially women empowerment, natural resource management, social justice and environmental education, among other things. He deeply believes in dialogue and institutions holding non-negotiable humanistic values and bringing both masculine and feminine principles to the fore. Gagan continues to inspire and pioneer with, with his application of applied behavioral science in India and across the world. We are really honored, uh, Gagan, to have you with us and to present you this honors uh, for your great work uh, and inspiring all of us. Thank you so much for doing what you're doing. Thank you, Joy. Thank you so much. Uh, you know, before I say anything, today I'm also, my heart is crying because we've lost a an amazing icon in Kamla Basin, yeah. who has been an amazing imp uh, you know, inspiration to all of us. Um, but I would just say I would like to thank you so much for recognizing what normally in, in our time of work is invisible work, uh, because leadership building is invisible. Uh, and therefore, I was a little embarrassed to be visibilized like that. But thank you so much. 
but i do dedicate this to two of my mentors who who brought me into this both ntl trained people who set up the behavioral science center in amdavad uh, father gm heredero and professor contractor and he left behind three people who continue his work um, martin my colleague martin mcwan uh, vijay parmar and together we have set up several institutions um, of justice work i just believe that what the way they trained me i am very clear that leadership and especially justice leadership must work with themselves and therefore if they don't work with themselves we only create dependencies uh, and therefore that's where to my mind behavioral science and the whole entire isab philosophy comes in to empower people uh, so that they look within first before they start acting out that's been my 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 way of working and it's a deeply political work um yeah. you know uh, i think we need to understand that working with self is deeply political um and that's where i think we the, the change has to start from the hearts of individuals so thank you again and um, it's been amazing to be part of isab's uh, family which i have known many of the people on radha and um you know many other people lalita those who have been part of isabs uh, but never been formally part of it i've always felt a part of the family thank you very much thank you so much gagan for uh, the work that you do and for for uh, sparing time for this uh, these awards uh, now we have um, the next uh, uh, honors go to uh, an organization or a movement the blue ribbon movement representatives uh, from the blue ribbon movement can we spotlight abhishek thakur hello thank you so much uh, <laughs> to receive this i think uh, i'm great to receive this from joy because in my 2006 lab i remembered only three things i remember joy i remember manas and i remember a feeling that i have no idea what's going on <laughs> 15 years ago so thank you isabs and yeah yeah joy. abhishek i don't even remember that anyway so i'm glad some yes. some universal nice connection receive. is happening yes, yes. Uh, uh, and uh, just want to acknowledge the presence of mohan ji mohan hirabai who's done this work for 25 years and is actually our connection from gandhi ji and vinoba and jay prakash to chhatreva sangharsh vahini to us as we do this work of sarvanumati so uh, mohan ji bahut bahut abhinandan aur dhanyawad to all our ancestors whose work we are taking um and um, yeah before i pass it on to the person who should take this on behalf of the movement i'm going to request all all your anumati because our work is based on consent it's based on full consent and i'm going to request your anumati your psychic permission your blessings your ashirwad to take this work forward into all the parts of the world because the world needs it uh want to invite kejal who is the current convener of the movement and the person who breaks her head with all of us to make this tedious process tedious but transformative process work uh so kejal uh, inviting you to take this award on behalf of the movement if kejal can be spotlighted and mohan ji maybe if he can just wave that would be nice mohan ji over to you kid thank you so much i'm really grateful to receive this on behalf of the movement and many of them are present here and they can wave their hands uh, also grateful uh, to all the people who supported us to make this happen in last 3 years and especially the patient testing times where we were struggling and stepping into the unknown to figure if we can really even do this so thank you so much for recognizing this thank you so in 3 years time if uh, kejal abhishek and mohan you can make such magic i wonder what you'll do uh, if you are given more years man i think when we were reading your um, uh, organizations his you know work we were like really mesmerized so i'm really honored at this point of time um you're uh, standing you on know, the shoulders of a lot of giants so thank you so it's, yeah thank you yeah great so um, uh blue ribbon movement i said celebrates and honors blue ribbon movement for their outstanding contribution to the world of applied behavioral science and nation building uh blue ribbon movement champions volunteerism i think that's something which really inspired us you know that whole story about bringing volunteerism and uh, you know clearly system thinking and the efficiency you showed in your uh, you know work and you know you gave us so much of uh, uh, information that we were really inspired 
with the kind of diligence that you guys are working and um, you know building youth leadership development and really creating uh, citizens of future into activism is something which we felt very very impressed uh, the movement has act, you know actively implemented and brought into consciousness of youth the principles of deep democracy and sarva anumati as a process modeled by vinoba bave the blue ribbon movement journey over the past decade from being an informal network of social enterprise driven by alumni inspires uh, inspires us to look at alternative and progressive models of inclusion and engagement through the use of abs principles uh, we are truly honored to um, present you with uh, this recognition and uh, wish you all the best as you carry forward your work Uh, you are on mute, uh, Kajal. Sorry. Sorry. Thank you, Abhishek Kajal, for for uh, you know for for being here to take the awards and may your movement grow in 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 might. Uh, so, uh, Joy, would you like to uh, say a few words on on the ISAB's honors and the award ceremony? so i'm um, you know i do feel um, very elated at this point of time that we could really um, you know extend our outward uh, focus in recognizing people uh, and who you know and go and sort after people who are really putting applied behavioral science into practice um you know so looking at the four um, four individuals and two organizations uh, who has received this honors by isabs is the great uh, example to see how our movement of applied behavioral science is really spreading and um, you know it's also making a great impact um, uh, you know at multitudinal levels uh, because each of these organizations each of these individuals are carrying forward ISAPs, uh, you know, the applied behavioral science into many folds in, in the areas that they're working. Um, you know, if you look at Blue Ribbon Movement, there are several thousand youth who are getting influenced and becoming a, a citizens of activism to carry this forward or Devanche's work um, taking through the, uh, you know, uh, physically challenged people. Um, you, know, you know, take it in any sphere of uh, spaces uh, like Gagan is building through organizations. So I'm I'm really um, you know um, grateful uh, at this point of time to really uh, you know uh, that ISAPS is really um, came to this understanding of how do we really recognize and really honor people um, who are really extending and working um, tirelessly to make an impact to the social change as the world moves into more complex and complex uh, situation. Uh, so thank you, um, and I really respect all, each and every uh, awardees who got this honor this evening. And I once again thank all the professional members of ISAPS for standing by. Uh, and I want you all to really show your um, spirit of applause to all the uh, all the people who got honored this evening. Yeah. Thank you so much, Joy. Yeah. Um, would, would Professor Abad Ahmed like to say a few words? Uh... Well, I think, uh, Joy.